Good morning, Bridge of Hope Church. The situation around the novel coronavirus COVID-19 is constantly unfolding in the Piedmont Triad area, and the Bridge of Hope staff, BOH Board of Directors, and the Health and Wellness team have been monitoring and considering all the information that is coming out. As a church, we recognize that nothing is happening that God does not already know. According to 2 Timothy 1 and 7, the Lord has given us love, power, and sound judgment. Therefore, we exercise faith and wisdom in our actions and decision-making rather than fear. Based on the wisdom the Lord has given us, we, the BOH Board of Directors, have decided to delay our return to on-site worship services for the foreseeable future. We believe our decision is wise for three reasons. Number one, first on June 4th, the board set August 2nd as our return date to the facility. We set August 2nd based on our state and local health officials projections that the numbers of COVID-19 would peak by mid-June and would reduce even further by the end of July. On that basis, we assumed it would be safer for our church to resume on-site services. However, the decline in COVID-19 cases did not occur. In fact, the numbers have been on a steady incline over the past six weeks. Second, we have not yet received the needed sanitation supplies for our on-site services. Without these supplies, we would not be able to disinfect our services and the attendees would not be able to properly disinfect their hands as suggested by the CDC. According to our vendors, it is unlikely we will receive them in the next few weeks. Number three, Guilford County currently has the second highest number of COVID-19 deaths in North Carolina. Even more concerning is that BOH's zip code 27406 has one of the highest numbers of the county's COVID-19 cases. Since the 27406 zip code is now one of the hotspot areas in the state, we think it's wise to delay our return for the, for the foreseeable future. When we see a constant or consistent drop in cases and have received enough sanitation products, we will revisit this decision and a possible date of return. Bridge of Hope, several of the BOH family and relatives have now tested positive for the virus. Please know that this virus does not discriminate who it infects, but it is especially severe to our aging, pregnant women, and those with heart, lung, and immune conditions. As a multi-generational congregation, our church has many who would fall into these categories. However, we see this as more than just a way to protect the people that are within our church family, but to extend this care to those within our cities and communities as well. We want to do our part in stopping the transmission of this virus and protect those populations within our church and region who are most vulnerable to its effects. We will continue to broadcast our services online each week, in addition to continuing our teaching ministry throughout the week to the various age groups. We encourage you to continue gathering virtually through technology as much as possible. Please know that we are not going into hiding. Your BOH staff will continue to find creative ways to connect all of us during this exceptional season and continue providing online ministry for your encouragement. You can reach our pastors by phone, by text, email, and social media. May God continue to bless us as a church as we continue to make, mature, and multiply disciples of Jesus Christ. I'm Asa Johnson, Vice Chair, BOH Board of Directors.